I take the pen? Hey, keep your hands off that. Constitution in progress. They don't seem to have gotten too far. And then there's George Washington. Uh, excuse me. Also, did he take the cigar yeah, out with these dentures? They came with it. Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. Awesome. Indeed. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. Um, uh, t -t -t -t, would you give me a demonstration? Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. Um, is it cold? Cold enough for you? Cold? Why, you don't know the meaning of the word. I spent a winter at Valley Forge. Now that was cold. Why, my spit would freeze before it hit the ground. That's disgusting. Cool. <laughs> Extremely. Hey, Pengu. All right, George Washington is of no use to me at the present stage, I believe. But we can still explore the rest of this place. So I believe we can open this and go down to the lab where Red Edison will be. Oh, there's some butt crack. There he is. Look at the bulletin board. What do we got? It's covered with plans and junk. Uh, let's talk to Red. Hey. What is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then yeah. again, maybe not. I don't think so. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? I haven't been around because I've been having a life. That's fine, Pinker. I didn't judge you for that. Oh god, what happened to Slash? <laughs> That's not Slash. I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons. Although he's looked, is very much Slash inspired by his, that his, his, uh, I, Red looks Edison, of it. foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. Oh dear. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. Must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. What are you inventing? What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. Well, Fantastic. see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Now, can I give you the letter saying, hey, you're awesome? I don't wanna. No, you don't wanna. Can I give you the patent? Yes. Hmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Oil, vinegar, and some gold. I have oil. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. Uh, I don't have vinegar or gold. No, I do not. Can I take your lab coat? Hey! Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Sorry. Gosh. Is there anything else I can touch? Left-handed hammer. Hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Ah, oh, well. Ah, oh, well. I don't think there's anything else I can do in here, is there? It's covered with plans and junk. Yeah, nothing else. Alright, let's get out of here and keep exploring. Let's go upstairs. Open the door. I bet it calls the butler, just like on TV. Let's find out. Whee! 
Bull cord. Here I am. Not Don't yet. get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. You think I'm Mr. Washington? Don't touch that. I'm trying to straighten up. Hey, if I go outside and go back in, can I make it another mess? Oh, no. I'll have to wait till she's All done. All done here. Bye now. Okay, toodles. Alright, can I mess the bed? I can. Uh, and then it was something like she takes forever to clean it, which gives me more time to do certain things. I forget. Let's find out what I need to do. There's also a Max portrait up there. I think that's new. I don't think Sam and Max were. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Uh, hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. Uh, yeah, sure. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Uh, could I have a chrome plated bald eagle robot on it? How about a skull with like scorpions in its mouth? It should have a hologram on it somewhere, or we need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Fantastic. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Okay. So, I believe I can take this pattern. Gosh, I'd never want to mess with history. Maybe not. I take American flag prototypes. I don't want them. Oh, fine. I like know that. that already. I couldn't sleep in here with all the racket. Who asked you to? All right, let's go. And we have another door in here. Uh, Ben's bed. Open the drawer. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Fine. I don't understand that technical stuff. Uh, grab the wine bottle. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do in this room. Let's keep going. Hey, horsey. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Uh, sure. Or the model? Oh, the model, clearly. I'm the model, should I take my clothes off now? No. <laughs> no, you most definitely should not. Damn, I We tried. couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay, it would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. <laughs> I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly <laughs> amusing, where you're from. It's fantastically amusing. Where exactly did you come from? The future. The future. Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future. <laughs> I'm from the future. Look out. Hoagie is definitely my favorite Gosh, character. Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. No need to be like that. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Alright, so one thing I can do here, I have a left-handed mallet. I'm gonna swap it out with the right-handed one. Haha. <laughs> 
Whoops. Oh no. Oh no. I've lost it. He's lost the ability to oh, make art. Where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? Bam! And this is why he goes back to science. I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. <laughs> I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. And the statue's the other way around. So that was uh, Edna, who's in the present time. The wife of uh, Dr. Fred. Meanwhile, Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! All mine! If only we had some nasty weather! Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. <laughs> wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. That's pretty amazing. Nice teeth. Thanks. Show them off. There you go. I paid quite a bit for them. Uh, what's a nice like nice horse like you? Doing what's a, place a like nice this? horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. A future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Uh, I, da, da. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. <laughs> Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. Well, I gotta go. See you later. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do with the horse. For what? <laughs> Use the horse for what? What items have I got? Uh, not a lot. I don't think I want to use the can opener on him. Can I take the glass? It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. Oh, valid point. All right, let's go upwards. Got a cat. Grab the paint. Uh, yeah, so I can't do anything with the cat straight up because the cat will... Getting yeah, really annoyed. I... Uh, how did I do this? I'm trying to remember how I do this one. It was something like push Where it. Where am I gonna put it? Fairly certain of something I can do with the beds. That's right. Um, so you've got the squeaky mattress. So can I pick up the squeaky mattress? Where am I gonna put it? squeaky mattress with Jed's bed. That's right. Uh, uh, so he swaps it over. Uh, <laughs> and then I can use the squeaky mattress in the background for the cat to go to. And then I'll... Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. And then I'll be able to get the toy mouse. <laughs> Alright, so we'll use this. Alright, grab that now because the cat's distracted. Yoink. Uh, can I use the mouse with the horse? I think not. No. Alright, I don't think there's much else 
I can do in here? There's something I need to do in here, but I forget what it is. Uh, that just makes it messy. Let's go back downstairs. Uh, let's go and find out how Bernard's going. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. Alright, so what's in my inventory? I have the bank book, booby be gone, a dime, and a textbook. Dr. Fred's drinking his coffee. Alright, let's go upstairs. And let's go into here. Might as well see what's around the place. Push it. Huh. 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 I hate that clown. <laughs> Can I open the grating? Hmm. Air conditioning, I guess. Cigar lighter. Let's take that. Hey, boy, you missed the party. No deal. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Goods Salesman's Convention. Oh, I tell you, we know the Benny, Benny, what's happened to you, pal? Have a good time. Uh, so where is So it? where is everybody? The really big bash was last night. I guess they're all sleeping it off. So, want a cigar? Sure. Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Kaboom! Well, you were right! Absolutely oh, lost the plot. It's a bad habit. Terrible jerks. That cracks me up every time. So I can't grab your cigarette lighter, can I? No, nah, hands like off, that. boy. That's a precision. Ma yeah, no, fine, fine. Uh, don't need the garbage, but I do need the teeth. Let's talk to him. Now just calm down for a second. Jumpy little sucker. Come on, over you go into the grate. And you are mine. Now the teeth I can send through the... The Chronogon. And... Replace the, uh, the horse's teeth. And then I'll have the gold. And what's the third thing I needed? Vinegar. Grab the decaf coffee. Grab the regular coffee. I got an achievement then called Rap Sheet Thief. Let's grab the fork. Yeah, is there anything I can do with the microwave? I'm not touching it. Okay. These models have a history of leakage. Oh, we can't have that. What else we got around here? Coin slot. You put quarters into the dryer there. I don't have a quarter. Open the cabinet. I've got a funnel. And can I open a dryer? Nothing in there. Alright. So many places to go. I don't think I can go outside, can I? 
Okay. Dead Cousin Ted. Open the mailbox. What's in that? Nothing. No, he's the, the thief. Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. That's unfortunate. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I, uh, have a spare set of keys in there. <laughs> nice crowbar. <laughs> Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. Okay, See you later. Fair enough. Yeah. Can I go around here? I can. Uh, that's all the sewage. Can we drink it? I'd like to, but there's no time. All right, let's go back inside. Alert! Sublime, thanks for following me, man. Appreciate your support. Hope to catch you on all the future streams I do as well. Now I need the crowbar to get the dime, but I'll have to do that later, because I've forgotten how to get the crowbar. But, what's in the ice machine? Anything good? No way! There's things in there that look like they've been there for years! Alright. Doesn't what? anyone ever clean this thing? Apparently not. Let's go into here. Oh. Uh, fickle fingers coin slot. Can we put the dime in that? Make him vibrate off it. Almost got him. I need more. I need the other dime. And then I can get the sweater. I don't think there's anything in the can. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. Alright, let's try door number two. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. Whoops. <sighs> I can't even do this right. Alright, uh, I might as well grab this pure ink. Hey pal, let me in. Hi, my name's Bernard, what's yours? Dwayne, isn't that depressing? Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? <laughs> the stooped shoulders and long face? I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. So this guy wants recognition. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. Wow, alright, no need to be a jerk about it. Maybe I can help cheer you up? Oh, I can hardly wait. Maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Ouch. Uh. Okay, maybe I can't cheer you up. Don't worry about it. I'd only get depressed again. This guy's a real defeatist. Nice music they pipe in here, huh? It's from the Elevator Classic series. It seems like this one tune has been on all day. I've never been so depressed in my life. Never mind. Alright, so, gotta figure out a way to get in that room. 
think this is Green Tentacles' room, if my memory serves. Green! Hey, buddy. Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? Uh... What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Let's find what out. What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Well, wow, thanks, man. Uh... Designing a miniaturization ray? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. That seems evil. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. <laughs> uh, how's your, how's your new BAM doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! <laughs> That's we the greatest name. We really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Um... Carefully crafted melody and distinctive counterpoint? Volume, man! Volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band! We're pulling out all the stops! Ooh. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. Sure. Well, so Stormtrooper helmet right there. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations, but we have a huge following in the club scene. Uh, weren't you looking for, looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. That's great. Yeah. Alright. See you later. See you later. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Thanks, pal. Uh, Alright, got the music. Mmm, plenty of wattage in this stereo. I can't wait to try my 8-tracks in it. Can I grab the bowling ball? It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Oh, you pansy. Alright, let's turn on this. Wow! This is loud! Ooh, there's a bit of sludge thing. Uh, turn off. Whew. That is incredibly loud. Uh, can I do... Ooh, speaker. Push speaker. Will that make it... Let's try this again. We'll turn it on and see what happens. Wow! This is loud! Is that gonna fall off? Yep, alright. What is that, a pancake or fake vomit or something? Alright, let's turn that off. Mouse hole. It's pretty small. Maybe I can use the toy mouse in that. I'll find out, I'll find out momentarily. We'll explore the rest of the house here and then we can start trading items in the chronodron with uh, Hoagie. Ah, uh, Edna. Creepy. Must be an Edison. Nurse Edna? Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? That's right. Yes, that's right. I knew it! You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? I'm coming to stop Pepper Tentacle. I'm here to fix your VCR. I'm a repairman. I've come to fix your VCR. Wow, this is dated now. There's nothing now. wrong with my VCR. You keep VCR your VCR plays. Holy me. crap! I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. 
Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with Ooh, cobalt casing. Wow. Don't touch it. That's like some early 90s tech. Uh, Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. Well, enough about your equipment. Let's talk about yours. Excuse me. <laughs> How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. That's always good. Uh, how do you wreck, how the, did he finances? wreck the family finances? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. <laughs> but the resident one. genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. Um, how did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. All right, let's I'll back. let you get back to what you were doing. So, if I Come gave Fred some decaf... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Emma. If I gave Fred some uh, decaf, maybe he'll uh, fall asleep and do his sleepwalking. Rush of cow tipping baffles police. Triangular man spotted at scene. Okay. 